How to end a cover letter. Hi, this is Chase from Money Matters, and welcome to our video of how to end a cover letter. You will find the links to the products in the description, and you can use the links to check user reviews and the latest prices. Make sure to watch until the end of the video to know more about writing cover letters. Does writing a good end on a cover letter matter? For most job seekers, the focus is mainly on writing the best resume. The cover letter gets little attention while it is one of the key things that captures the hiring manager's attention. The resume gives you an opportunity to enumerate your competence and skills, while your cover letter is your opportunity to convince the HR manager that you are the right candidate for the job. The last paragraph of your cover letter is key, as it leaves a lasting impression on the hiring manager. It will propel them to take an action, hire you, or dismiss you. Key things you need to cover at the end. Summarize your strengths. Since you want to leave an impression on the hiring manager, this is your opportunity to sum up all of your key strengths. This does not mean you copy and paste them from your resume or from the beginning of the cover letter. Rather, you should use different language for the summary. Another way to put it is to summarize the value you bring to the company. It could be a boost in ROI or sales. Before doing this summary, make sure you have reread what the job entails and the background for the company. Appreciate your reader. While ending, take the time to appreciate your reader for taking the time to consider your application and actually reading it. This communication of thanks passes the message that you value your reader's time. Polite request for interview. This is the reason you wrote the cover in the first place. It is not impolite to ask for a future interview from the hiring manager. Do not demand for one, but be polite. Instead of the cliche sayings, I look forward to speaking to you more about how I can bring value to your company. Don't demand to call their office next week to find out how your letter went. Finish with some thanks. Once you are done with the end paragraph, finish off your cover letter with some salutations for thanks. It could be something like, sincerely, best regards, or thank you for your consideration. Some mistakes you should avoid is using familiar phrases like cheers or yours or take care. Note the tone you use in the cover letter should always be professional. Avoid at all costs making coarse jokes, being too emotional, and or texting shorthand. You should also avoid using exclamation marks in the letter. Examples of closing paragraphs for cover letters. Thank you for taking your time to consider my resume. I honestly believe that my previous experiences in company XYZ will be of value to your organization. I am particularly interested to learn more about gene technology and see how it can help mankind. With my extensive knowledge in income tax consultancy, I believe I can quickly get up to speed on the position. I am welcome to an opportunity to speak to you more about my qualifications via email or phone. Thanks for your time. I believe my five years experience as an SEO expert will be an excellent match for this job. I look forward to speaking to you in depth concerning the future of content marketing. You can reach me on the following email slash phone number. Cover letters will fail if you use very complicated language to communicate your point. Interviewers are not interested in how well you know English, so avoid using large words that are meaningless. You also should avoid over-repeating yourself on how much you love this job. This only makes you sound desperate, and it is like the interviewer is doing the world a favor hiring you and not on the basis of competency. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. Also, let us know which products you would like us to compare next. Thanks for watching.